Hey, have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking Pengyon around. I didn't know Pengyons could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Moggy Lou's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local legend has it that when the end times come, a talking Pengyon will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone who's encountered this Pengyon has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure it's not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia! Is that supposed to be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but whatever you do, you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're going to look for that talking penguin, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. Oh, good evening. Lovely weather, isn't it? It really talked! I can't believe it. Something I eat can talk? Huh? Wait, do you guys eat us penguins too? <sighs> Why does it matter? Please, answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but... Yes, I eat them. And I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that! Oh, and what's a cutesy little pengyon like you plan on doing about us big bad humans? Uh... What the hell are you? I'm sorry for deceiving you all, but I can't let you hurt any more Pengyons! No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! back into a pangyon. No matter. Wait, why are you so intent on fighting us when you're outnumbered? I have to protect my fellow pangyons from the likes of poachers like you. Poachers? We're not poachers, I swear. We just came here to see a talking pangyon. Really? But then, why did you guys say you eat pangyons? Sorry, I guess we should have explained more clearly. This one will eat anything. I yeah, sorry about that. And as for me, the only pingin I ever eat is what I buy properly at the market. We're not good people, but we're not those kinds of villains either. Oh, well in that case, I should apologize for jumping to conclusions and picking a fight. I just ran into some Pengyon poachers earlier, and I'm afraid I'm a little on edge right now. Those must be the other people who've spotted you here. They're all sick in bed just from the shock of meeting you. Small fries like them. I bet they'll think twice before they try to poach another animal. So, what are you then? Some special representative of Pengyon kind? No, I'm Jude Mathis. 
I'm a medical student from Riza Maxia. A medical student from Riza Maxia? It's in a different world from yours. Actually, I'm a human just like you all, but... Somehow I was flung into this dimension, and when I came to, I looked like this. So, basically, you're a human from another world, but when you came here, it made you turn into a Pengyon? This story of yours, quite a tale. The whole thing's pretty hard to believe. It certainly is. However, when I was lost and confused, the Pengyons here were kind to me, and took me in as their own. I wanted to repay the favor to them since they've done so much for me. So you've been protecting them from any poachers who come. But don't you have bigger things to worry about right now? Looks to me like you're too soft-hearted. I get that a lot. Well, we've heard your story. But even if it is true, it doesn't sound like there's anything we can do for you. Don't worry about me. I'll figure out how to get home on my own, one way or another. The problem is that a friend of mine got sent to this world with me, but I haven't been able to find her. My hunch is that she's also turned into a Pengyan. You haven't heard of any other talking Pengyans, have you? Can't say I have. Sorry. Oh, okay. What kind of person is this friend of yours? Maybe we'll run into her later. Her name is Mila. She has pretty red eyes and long golden hair. She carries herself with dignity and possesses a commanding presence. What else? Oh, and one of her quirks is that whenever she sees something tasty, she drools. That's an interesting quirk. You mean she actually drools? Also, she's known as the Lord of Spirits because she's accompanied by four summon spirits with command over the elements. Ooh, Lord of Spirits. How royal sounding. Got it. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. It may be hard, but try to keep your spirits up, Jude. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys get a lead on Mila. You care about her even more than yourself. Uh, well, how do I put it? She's just... a really special person to me, I guess. Fair enough. A talking penguin? I didn't dream that up, right? No, that penguin was very real. Or rather, it seems to actually be a human named Jude. He said he came from another world. No matter how much we see, life is still full of mysteries, isn't it? He's got guts, I'll give him that. It'd be nice if we could help him somehow. He's kind to penguins too. If he was telling the truth, that would make him a castaway from another dimension. We seafarers always help out anyone who's adrift. Personally, I'm curious about this Mila girl, the Lord of Spirits. She might have a connection to the four Empyreans, or even Inominat himself. Seems unlikely, but I suppose anything's possible. Just in case, I'll keep everything Jude the Penyon told us in mind. I know you guys. I heard you put a real dent in the Exorcist's strength. I take it you're a Bloodwing? Got any new information for us? With all the turmoil, there's a lot of noise out there. But I've heard one rumor that stands out. So there was this skilled Exorcist Praetor at the top of his game, yeah? Apparently, he got taken down by a Penyon. Oh? And how'd this Penyon supposedly pull that off? I know it sounds like I'm pulling your leg, but I'm serious! The Praetor said the Pinyon attacked with arts of earth, water, fire, and wind. The four elements. That's not all. From what I hear, this Pinyon sports red eyes and a golden coat. They call it... Goldapin. Alright, so where is this Goldapin? The attack happened in the Figal ice caps. But I gotta warn you guys, Goldapin is said to be an ominous creature that signals the end of the world. Listen, I'm telling you this for your own good. Whatever you do, you'd better steer clear. Why would you say that? Oh, now we have to check this out. So it's a penguin with red eyes, a gold coat, and control over all four elements? That must mean... They're calling her Goldapen, huh? I've seen a lot of things out there, but never anyone who has mastered all four elements. 
Excluding myself, of course. <laughs> Whatever she is, if she's taken down a Praetor, she might be willing to work with us. Or, you know, it could be a trap. This strengthens the case that she could be connected to the four Empyreans. Either way, we should probably go and find out. I'll send word to Jude and Isalt. Hold on. That might complicate the situation. We promised we'd let him know if we heard anything. I'm just staying true to our word. Fine. But I have my own way of doing things, too. Look! Red eyes? Golden coat? It's gold of hen, alright! And she's even got that... quirk. Be careful. If what we heard is true, she can use those four great spirits in battle. Uh, see? She's drooling. Does that mean she thinks we look tasty? Does that mean she's a man-eating Pengyon? Wait! Don't fight! Hey! It's Jude! No matter how much Mila loves to eat, she'd never attack a person without a good reason. Huh? Wait, this Pengyon isn't Mila? Are you all right? When I got your message, I ran all the way here without stopping to eat or drink. That's enough. When will you people learn to leave this Pengyon alone? Hunting for food, I could understand. But I won't allow you to take this creature's life on some flimsy notion of bad omens. If you want the Pengyons, you'll have to fight me first! Four through them! Who the hell are you? I'm Mila Maxwell, and I'm the protector of Pengyons! You're strong. You know your way around a sword. As do you. I can see that Jude wasn't exaggerating when he called you the Lord of Spirits. Jude? Do you know him? I've been looking all over for him. He's right there. Oh, Jude! Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. Mila. You can tell it's me? Of course I can. You're a lot smaller on the outside, but you're still you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Mila. That being said, I haven't exactly had an easy time in this form. Hmm. Yes, I can see how it might have given you some trouble. Leia and Elise would probably be worried sick, and Alvin would tease you mercilessly. I think there's a way I can change back. When I fought these guys before, I was somehow able to do it. You fought them? 
So they really are a bunch of no-good Pengion abusers. We're not, I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. It's okay, Mila. They're the ones who told me where to find you, and they're not Pengion abusers. Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go jumping to the wrong conclusions about you. Everyone, thank you so much for reaching out to me. No need to thank us. We just did the same as anybody would. I'm glad you found your friend. However, both of you are still stuck here. It's fine. The two of us will figure something out. We'll get Jude back to his normal self and find our way home to Riza Maxia. Yeah. Oh, do you want to come along too? You know this Pengyon? Yeah, for some reason I've taken quite a liking to him. Something about him just feels familiar. <laughs> I suppose so. They're gone. Is it really okay to let them leave? What do you say, Aizen? Do you think Mila is connected to the Empyreans? No. Her arts felt fundamentally different from the ones we Malakim use. Agreed. I think I might actually believe they came from another world. In that case, we can let them be. Since she took down that exorcist, I don't think we need to worry about her joining forces with the Abbey. Yeah. But couldn't she still join our side? I wonder. I feel like she might be a bit out of our league. I don't know. I think you two have more in common than you'd care to admit. We should leave them be. Besides, if they came with us, Eleanor might try to eat Jude. I would not! 